Hi, I'm Dr. V. I'm Chief of the Spine Pain Program at Bloor Pain Specialists, and today I'm going to be talking about MRI. So facet hypertrophy really means growth of a facet joint, and we have two facet joints per level. We have one here and one here. You notice inside the joint we have rough wavy edges. Those rough edges aren't the same. This side looks like it's a little more rough than this side, for the most part. Versus over here, it's a little bit blurry. So maybe the inner edge of this facet joint is a little more arthritic. But here, on this facet joint, we have something extra. A facet joint synovial cyst. And that is an outpouching of the joint fluid. That can be a sign of degenerative facet disease. It's something that can pinch on the neighboring nerve as it's doing in this picture. This is the dorsal root ganglion, the little uh, grayish structure here, and a normal one over here with lots of space. In this side, the cyst is pushing on it. A large joint could also close this space and narrow the amount of room that a, disc, uh, that a nerve has to pass in between disc and joint. Other joints, if we scroll, are not as big. The inner edges are smooth. The joint itself is small. And scrolling again, some of the joints are smaller. Again, smooth inner edges. It really can show how on an MRI we can identify the architecture of an arthritic joint. And then clinically, we can correlate that to see if somebody has symptoms. Thanks for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe below. If you have any questions that you'd like us to address in a future video, please leave them in the comments area. If you want us to answer any questions about your care specifically, please contact the clinic directly.